All right, welcome to Benjamin TV. Today I'm gonna to be doing a grocery shopping haul or I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. Judy and I just had a baby, so I'm trying to fill her um, with really good, healthy stuff. First thing, got is spinach. The reason I love spinach is because obviously it's very healthy for you and versatile. You can put it into juices, you can put it into smoothies. The good thing is when you put it into juices or smoothies, you really don't even taste the the leafiness of spinach because it just um, disintegrates like juice and uh, yeah and what's great about this you can also throw this into your food so if you're cooking on pasta and you want a little bit of green and a little bit of a color this is a great thing to put in there and obviously you can eat it as a salad great spinach salad recipes on YouTube tomatoes yeah, I just eat everything with tomatoes, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, depending on what I'm eating. And yeah, just good stuff, healthy, obviously. Bananas, great snack. It's quick. You can grab one on the go. As you can see, we have some over here, brown ones. But, uh, you can throw these also into your smoothies and really smooth it up. If you have a lot of vegetables in your smoothie, put a banana in there. You won't even taste the vegetables anymore. And... Uh, very good, lots of potassium in it, and I just like it, it's very quick. Green onions. I love green onions just for personal reasons because I, um, I put this into some of my Japanese dishes that I cook, and you can garnish a lot of dishes from salads to, you know, maybe like a fried rice dish or any kind of meaty dish. You can throw this in there and it's gonna really give you a little bit of a crunch. I don't know if there's a lot of nutrients in green onions or not, but I like it. Grapes. I've been loving grapes lately. Judy loves grapes. Obviously, it's a very good snack. It's very high in sugar, um, but, you know, fruit sugar is not really that bad for you. But uh, what I like about these lately is I throw them into my juice recipes or my uh, smoothie recipes, and it gives it a tartness that you don't get from limes. Like, lime is, is very sour taste. But this gives you like a sweet tartiness. Love it. Obviously, you can eat it by itself. Good stuff. Limes. I usually have lemons, but they didn't have any organic lemons. So I had organic limes. Love this. I put these into my juices. You can use this as a garnish on your salads. Um, you can squeeze some of this into your water. Give you a little bit of a flavor if you're not a big water fan. Um, but you want to drink more water. So, again, very good. Uh, in the skin, there's a lot of nutrients, so throw that into your smoothies as well if you um, have a blender and you do smoothies or juices. Bam! Celery. Celery is the vegetable of the winter time or the fall time, so I just bought this for the first time in a long time, haven't had celery. I'm just going to be throwing this into my uh, morning smoothies or breakfast smoothies and um, I don't really eat these on their own unless they're ants on a log, which is you take these celery sticks, you put some peanut butter on it, and put some raisins. I'm telling you, that's good. That's a good snack. Apples are best in the fall time, at least here in Washington. Um, so um, they're very fresh. These haven't been frozen or put into like a refrigerator. That's a whole nother video. But these are fresh from Eastern Washington. Great source of lots of nutrients. Delicious. I put these in my smoothies, I eat them by themselves. What can I say? I bought oranges specifically because I know that oranges grow in a sunny area. And since we don't get a lot of sun here, I thought let's eat some fruits from a very sunny area or you know, on something that's lots of vitamin C and hopefully that we can kind of gain the energy because we need it. You, you already know. Coconuts. So you see a lot of the coconut waters being sold um, today that are very popular. But I prefer right out of the coconut if you can. Um, it's you know it's fairly expensive compared to just buying it out of the little container. But what I like about this is you get the fruit or the meat of the coconut as well as the juice. And there's a lot of nutrients in there. It's very good stuff. And if you've ever had a fresh coconut or you live somewhere where you get fresh coconuts, you know how good these are and these are very very healthy and what I've been using for lately is a base for some of my smoothies especially ones with a lot of leafy greens in it I want to give it some sweetness BAM coconuts alright so that's another episode of Benjamin TV I just wanted to share with you my grocery list and all of that came out to be about 40 bucks and remember these things are fairly expensive and um, I buy almost all organic. If you didn't buy organic, that would be significantly less. And if you took these out of the mix, 
Um, I'd say you could probably get all this for like 25 bucks, maybe $22. And this will last me through the whole week. Um, Judy and I, at least, for vessels and fruits. All right, make sure you subscribe if you love food. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.